Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a situation that happened with me and Mojang support and a hacker who took my Mojang account. Now, I don't expect this video to change, you know, what happened or anything like that because I'm a relatively small YouTuber. I have 1.5k subs and when I do make Minecraft videos, it's typically on Bedrock Edition, not Java. So, you know, I don't expect this to, ch the, to change what happened or for, you know, Mojang to take responsibility for their huge fuck up because the truth is I'm a small YouTuber and they, you know, so I'm basically just an average customer and they don't give a shit about me. If this happened to a big YouTuber, I'm sure they would have resolved it instantly and, you know, wouldn't have been a problem. But because I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm not going to get any sort of special treatment, you know. They know that what I say is going to harm their sales or their reputation. They'll all sleep well at night, you know, so... It just doesn't matter. So what everything I'm saying is pointless. I'm just speaking for the sake of speaking, really, to vent and get this off my chest. But I want people to know that uh, if they get their Minecraft account stolen, they're most likely not getting it back. Now, I've had this Mojang account since early 2015 or late 2014. So, you know, about seven years ago. Seven years I've had it now. And one day, I click on the Minecraft launcher to, to play, and it tells me I have to sign in. So I try signing in, and it tells me information is wrong. Now, I know that this information is right, but I re-enter it a few times to make sure that it, you know, I typed it incorrectly. And when I do that, it still tells me that's wrong. So I go click on forgot password, and I type in my email. And then it tells me that the email doesn't exist to a Mojang account. So I think that's strange and it starts crossing my head that someone actually might have took my uh, Mojang account, but it says please try again later, so I thought there might be an issue, so I end up doing waiting until the next day, and then I try again, and still the same thing, so that's when I'm talking to my friend about it, and they suggest that I look up my username that I had on an MC name site and see if it's been changed, and you know, lo and behold, I end up looking it up and my username has been changed to MC Player 111 I'm pretty sure that's what it was changed to. Now I will either be putting screenshots of all the evidence and the things I referred to either up on the screen or in the description or pinned comment to you know prove the things that I'm talking about. But you know, I at this point I know my budget account was stolen, so I just make a ticket, you know, expecting to get it back because you know this is this is blatant uh blatant case of theft for multiple reasons you know number one mc player 111 that's like the most generic name ever like this is literally people that take accounts for a living and just to like resell them on like a site these are the type of generic na generic names that they freaking rename the accounts to like mc player 111 like it's literally so blatantly generic that it's laughable that they fucking told me that they could not get my account back that they didn't have enough evidence that it was stolen so the first thing that they requested, and the only thing that they really re requested, was that I have a transaction ID. Now, I bought the game seven years ago. I don't have the transaction ID. I'm sorry, I, I just don't. That's a real, that's an unrealistic expectation. And there needs to be more ways to recover account. Because I can think of quite a few ways that would be reasonable. That you could, without you know a shadow of a doubt, any reasonable person would be able to tell if the account was stolen. Now, these ways include... Uh, logging in from a new location. This person logged in from an unknown new location that I've never been before on an unknown new device that I've never used before and after doing that they instantly changed the email and password. These four things all combined together they, these all, four things are all red flags and them combined together makes it so blatantly obvious that they are not me. They're not the account owner. But what does Mojang do? They don't send me any emails telling me that my account information was changed. They don't they don't lock my account for suspicious activity. They don't lock him out of the account because, you know, new location, new device, new everything, changing everything all at once. Like, that's not suspicious to them. Now, they could have easily prevented it if they were intelligent and they just, you know, did one of the things I suggested, but they didn't, so whatever. What they could do is they could check the account history and look at the fact that all four of these things happened. You know, new location, new device, changed all the information. They could look at that when I made my request on my support ticket that my account has been compromised, which took them over a month to respond to. They could have looked at that and said, wow, this really is suspicious activity. All right, we will reinstate, we will restate your account back to you. Like, 
that is not a process that they have. They're, they are not allowed to do that. It doesn't matter if they're from a new location, a new device, and they change all the information. That to them isn't good enough. You have to have the transaction ID, even if you bought the game 11 years ago. It doesn't matter. And that's the only way that they will recover it. So if you get your password and username changed, well, say fucking goodbye, because nothing else matters. They could literally change the username to I stole this account, and they still wouldn't give a shit. They could even make that the password and email that I steal accounts, and they would say, well, too bad. The transaction ID is the only thing that matters, or whatever ID that they wanted, which obviously I wouldn't have. So it's kind of ridiculous that they could have easily prevented this by just being intelligent and having a good security system. And they also could have reinstated the account with the suspi by just looking at the suspicious activity around the date that my uh, information was changed. But they won't do any of that, and they don't care about me or give a shit, you know? I'm pretty certain that they know that this is my account, because any reasonable person would. Yet, they they still only care about that ID. So, another issue that I have <coughs> is the fact that they only asked all these security questions during the recovery process. When I'm trying to get the account back is when they want to ask uh, the security questions. So, when he's trying to take my account and change all my information, they just let him walk right in, nothing stopping him, no security questions. Sure, that's that's fine, nothing suspicious at all is going on here, we don't care. Change anything you'd like. They don't ask him a single thing, but the moment I try recovering the account that was stolen from me, that's when their, sec their security system kicks in, and they ask me 20 million questions, and they ask me all these tough things like, what's the transaction ID? Why didn't you ask him for the transaction ID? Why didn't he have to give the transaction ID when... When he when he was changing all my information, when he signed in from a new location, why didn't you ask him that? Why, why did you only ask me that? Hmm. And that's my point. Like, <laughs> like, you know, they don't ask they don't ask these questions when they're taking the account. They don't take these things into account when they're trying to recover the account. They don't, like, they have the worst security system ever. They didn't even email me, tell me that my account information was changed. This is beyond ridiculous, and I honestly can't, like, in most situations, I'm willing to take responsibility and say this is my fault. I mean, like, but I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to blame myself for this. Like, I, I wanted to blame myself for this, because this is the type of person I am, but I don't know how to. It's not my fucking fault that this happened, and it's fucking Mojang's for being so damn incompetent. I can't trust them with anything. Like, it is lost. Now, for the record, Mojang accounts are like $26, yes, but I've spent thousands of dollars on servers, so this is a, you know, this hacker basically just got an account worth thousands of dollars for, you know, all because your security system is shit, and I know that you guys aren't going to fix it or take responsibility, but, you know, I am hoping that this video, although I don't expect it to, I really hope that just someone out there can help me out and that I can get my account back because I don't want to say goodbye to it but if I do have to say goodbye you know it's whatever I'm, I'm not buying I'm not rebuying Minecraft Java Edition again I'm not giving them any more of my money and I'm not making any more videos on Minecraft Bedrock you know I'll, I'll still do texture packs and whatnot uh, but I'm not making like any actually like actual like gameplay series or, or videos because because my mood for Minecraft is gone. I don't want to play Minecraft anymore. You know, if an account I had for seven years can just be taken from me, uh, then I just, that I spent thousand dollars on, then I just don't want to play Minecraft. That's just how it is. I'm, I'm very upset, and I hope the community will have my back, but I know that this video probably won't get a lot of views. I mean, I don't have that many subscribers. A thousand, 1.5 is, seems like a lot to some people, but on YouTube, that just isn't that much. And, I, and I'm very grateful for every subscriber that I get. Uh, yeah, so, I'm sorry for cursing in the video, I'm obviously upset, and I should be, but still, if you're young, I, you know, I don't want to, you know, curse if you don't like it, but, you know, I just, I just had to, this, this, uh, had to capture how I, how I really feel about the situation, but, uh, thanks for watching the video, everyone, thank you for your support, peace out.